welcome to psychic medium Tony G. Um, <clears throat> as you can tell, my voice is a little bit off today. Please uh, bear with me as we do this. I've just had a little summer cold thing going on for the week. It's almost at its end. I'm so happy that it's almost at its end. So, and no, it is not C-19. There are other things that exist other than that. Remember, we used to get the flu. Remember, we used to get colds. That's simply this, just a cold. I can still smell. I can still taste. It's all good. Okay, let's get on with the show. So, I will be taking callers off of Blog Talk. I will be answering questions off of um, YouTube Live. Now, if you are watching on YouTube Live, thank you so much. If you are one of my callers on Blog Talk or listening on a podcast, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This show also gets aired through um, WSCS, which is a um, local, uh, which is a TV station. And then it gets restreamed. I, you know, I'm really not sure how to say all of this because it's all TV, but it's different formats of TV. So um, Rude Rangers TV restreams my shows on all of their stations. I guess that's how I would say it. And WSCS streams my shows on all of their stations. So I'm on Roku, Amazon, and a number of other stations. Okay. I think that's how I would say it. Okay. So if you do have content and you want it um, streamed out there, you want it out there, don't expect a lot out of me today, folks. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, nothing brings me down. Even when I'm sick, I'm up. I'm just, just keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Even when I'm sick, I'm laughing, I'm joking. It's it's just all a part of life. You just go roll with the punches, roll with the sneezes, roll with the car. You just do it. You know, it's life. You got to get it before it gets you. That's it. That's all there is to it. Okay. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be an interesting show. <laughs> on that note, let's go to our very first caller. First, I want to thank everybody on YouTube who has already checked in. We have Caroline Matthew, the random person, so mysterious, who told me her name last week, but... For the love life, uh, for the love of life, I cannot remember her name. And Genevieve, hey Genevieve. Okay, uh, first name, last name. Okay, and then we have first name, last name on YouTube also. Hey, how are you? Thank you all for joining me. I'm gonna go to my very first caller, and then I will take a YouTuber, and then I'll go back to uh, a caller. This, I don't Hello. know. Hi, how are you? <laughs> uh, it's okay. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Um, so where are you calling from? What's your name? <laughs> hey, it's Nathaniel calling from California. Hey, Nathaniel. How have you been? Um, you know, I was in the hospital, actually, it is, and I think I need cataract surgery. Okay. And they're checking for a heart blockage. And uh, I was doing a fire watch, and there, there, there was a fire that started, and I actually got fired. Oh. Well, that's, let's, um, let's, start, so, let's start with a clearing, because I feel like there's a lot going on right now um, globally. And there's a lot going yeah. on 
locally. So let's just do everybody listening, re-listening is clear. No, we're going to start clearing everybody to a yes. And then uh, right away, let's do everybody's unclear. I get a yes and that should be a no. So let's start clearing that out right away. And Nathaniel, I just want to say something really quick um, before I get into your thing. Um, a couple weeks ago, I did a show where I did some predictions and I'm going to say there's more, you know, I just want to do, uh, uh, last night I was seeing some things and I don't know exactly what these things always are until after I see them. So there's been mass flooding in many countries right now and our prayers go out to those countries. Um, and it's very un unfortunate and that's that seems like such a mild word to use um but there's i just have to say there's more coming there's there really is more coming there are some things coming down that are going to be somewhat shocking to people some of this stuff is going to start even this week like actually it started last week or the week before with the flooding um there's going to be some other things coming in that are going to be um pretty heavy duty. I'm not going to use the word that they're giving me. Um, I'm just going to say that they're going to be pretty heavy duty things. And Nathaniel, I'm going to pick you back up in a second. Just give me a second here to do this. And thank you for your patience. Um, they're going to be some pretty heavy duty things, some pretty heavy duty headlines hitting the news. Um, and I really have to be careful of how I say things because there is a people's belief systems are very strong and they're tied very tightly to them. So the way I say things um, can sometimes make people uncomfortable. So what I want to say is some of the things coming in, do your homework. Oh, thank you. That was a beautiful way to put it. Just do your own homework. Don't believe every headline you read. Don't believe every um, yeah. there, a lot of times some of these things that are going on, there are really big agendas behind them. And we have to like follow <laughs> follow the money and you'll be there. Follow the money. Who gets paid out if this happens? Who gets paid if this happens? That's what you need to pay attention to, folks. Okay, I'm going to go back to Nathaniel now. And Nathaniel, thank you so much for your patience. Okay, Nathaniel. Uh, what I want to say is things are going to be a little bit tough or tight for you over the next um, couple of days and into the next couple of weeks. But Nathaniel, you're very resilient and I feel like you're going to pick up everything very quickly and you're going to be able to move forward very quickly. Um, I'm so sorry for everything that's going on with you. I know that it can be very devastating and difficult when we have multiple things hit us at once. So I'm going to clear. Um, Nathaniel is stuck. Nope. Nathaniel's moving forward. Yeah. Um, Nathaniel, I feel like within a month, meaning by the end of August, all of this should have turned around for you. I feel like there are going to be some resources coming into you. Even if you don't find like um, employment, I feel like there are going to be resources coming in for you that are going to help you uh, be in that place you need to be and give you that long-term, uh, long-term stability. And I do feel like Nathaniel. Um, I feel like you need to reach out to some government agencies, but reach out to you uh, rather than a government agency. Like sometimes when people file for disability, they just go to the disability place and they file for disability. 
but there are people who will literally help you file disability that kind of help you get it. Now, I'm not saying you're going to file for disability. What I'm saying is there are resources coming in for you that are going to offer a more long-term sense of security for you, whatever that looks like for you. I feel like that that's going to be coming in within the next couple of weeks. I feel like it might, the process might start within a couple of days and then go into a couple of weeks. So I would really focus on what resources are available in the immediate future and then move forward with that. Okay, Nathaniel? Okay. And thank you for calling. I'm really happy to hear your update and I'm so sorry for everything that you've been going through. Okay, well, thank you, Nathaniel. Thank you. Okay, I am going to go to Caroline on YouTube who asked two questions, a connection and a question, but I'm actually going to just go to her, um, her connection, who was her grandmother. Well, actually... She wanted to know about funding for her business. And they're telling me the funding is going to come through. You have to be a little bit crafty about it. You have to um, don't just go to one, one funding source. You have to be very crafty about it um, and go to open sources like an open so funding source. And I'm not, I don't even know what that means, Caroline. I'm really sorry. I don't know what an open source means. Um, I do feel like maybe, I don't know if that means um, like a, is GoFundMe like an open funding source or um, I don't know. Whatever it is, I feel like once you, you um, find this open source, whatever this open source is, it's going to bring you everything and get the ball rolling and you're going to have much more control over everything. Okay. And then um, yeah, I agree. Um, First name, last name. I agree. There's only so much I can say on my show if I want to keep my show, though. And I really want to keep my show because, well, anybody who knows, knows. Right? Um, uh, is there anything with all I love with? Oh, my God. I love horses. Horses are are amazing. Um, she was fine. Okay, so you want to know you, the owner if you could work with him and she said she was fine with things and now but wondering if things will change. Okay, so I would say for, for your question about working with the horse, just go day by day. Don't worry about um, what's going to happen down the line. Just go day by day and let everything fall into place the way it's going to. Um, and horses are so easy to fall in love with. They're so majestic. I, I get it. Um, they are so beautiful and so majestic. Um, just go day, day by day with that. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 347. Hey, 347, where are you calling from? What's your name? and I'm calling from New York. Hey, how can I help you today? Uh, I have a question. Could I connect with my grandfather? Oh, yeah. Can I have his first name, please? Alexander. Alexander. Okay, I see a gentleman. If this isn't your grandfather, it could be your great-grandfather. Um but I feel like it is your grandfather. I see a gentleman. I feel like in his prime, he was probably a fuller gentleman, but toward the end, he was thin. 
I see him having uh, not white skin, but a more, his skin is a little darker. And he is in a suit, but the suit is a little baggy on him. And that represents that he had lost weight. And towards the end, I think a lot of people do. But, um, but the suit can also represent uh, possibly a, a couple of different things like that. Maybe he, I don't know if he enjoyed wearing a suit or if he, uh, I, I don't know what it represents, but he, I see him in a suit. With when, I, when I dream of him, he is occasionally in a suit. Okay, thank you for that confirmation. He really, even though this suit does not fit him, um, it's not a fitted suit. It's like a suit he had when he was younger and then he lost weight. Um, and he has this hat, this, I think it's, I don't know the name of the hat, but they're telling me a Pedoro or something like that. Like it's a normal like 50s, I don't know, 50s hat, whatever. Um, but he is like... Yeah. He's showing up styling. That's what I can say about this. He's showing up styling and smiling. Um, so the first thing he, he, was, he, he was a tailor. Oh, that's why. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And that would make, that would make sense for some of the, the, that makes so much perfect sense. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, the first thing he wants to say is obviously that, you know, there's so much love for you. There's so much love for you. He wants you to know there are so many people that are on the other side in the, other, what he's calling it's, I've never heard this term before in the other world. So like, this is the world we live in. That's the world we go to that, it, which we refer to as heaven. There are so many people in the other world that are watching out for you and looking out for you and um, and guiding you. You need to uh, listen better. <laughs> Just what every woman wants to hear. You need to listen better. <laughs> um, he's saying he's they, not only he, but they are trying to connect with you. They are trying to communicate with you. They are trying to bring you messages. And it's not just one specific important message. It's more like daily guidance. It's daily guidance that, that they want to bring you. But you're always seeming to be in very much of a hurry, very much of a, like, so rushed with your life. And they get it because they've been here and they understand that. What they're asking is that, yeah. As you wake up in the morning, in those few little moments, you know, or as you fall asleep at night, in those few in-between moments, really take a moment to listen to what they have to say. They want to bring you um, answers to your questions um, about, about certain things going on in your life. You've had some what he's calling pr predicaments uh, recently. And they are trying yes. to tell you first and foremost, everything's going to work out. It's going to smooth over. And, you know, I just personally, I have this belief. I have this 1 million percent belief that, um, that all truths come out. I don't know why I'm saying this to you, but all truths come out. Eventually the truth comes out. I don't care how good somebody is. I don't care how smart they think they are. As a matter of fact, I love when somebody thinks they're smart. Mm, give me a smarty because the smarter you think you are, the faster that truth is gonna come up because you're gonna trip yourself out. You are gonna trip yourself out. Um, but for some reason, whatever's going on with you, don't worry. Everything is going to be revealed. I'm, There's a big reveal day. I'm currently... Uh-huh. Can I tell you? Um, currently, I'm supposed to move. And I've been looking and looking, and I finally found something that I love, and it's absolutely perfect. It's just the landlord is dragging his heels, and... 
my move out date is at the end of the month, which is any day now, and I've just been very literally um, perfect. And I keep, I hear, keep looking. I know that you're getting very close to the end, but I'm going to tell you something. And when they're saying the truth will be revealed or there's a big reveal date, now this can mean somebody, I'm going to tell you something. If, if something isn't going through smoothly, no matter how good it looks on the surface, it's probably not the right thing. And you need to keep looking. Um, and the other thing I found is once you have more than one option, all the options are available and then you get to choose. Uh, you need to keep looking. You can't, you can't, if the, if the landlord is like this with this, you need to realize this might be the way the landlord is just going to be. So keep looking. I feel like even as early as tomorrow, you might find something even uh, better for you. Um, yeah. So please keep looking. I feel like that's going to be what comes through for you. Okay. And you're, you're going to be okay. so happy that you did. Okay, love. All right. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. And I do feel like I'm telling you, there's going to be a reveal. He, he's using the word reveal. So uh, maybe something is revealed about this landlord or something is revealed about this place or a new place, whatever it is, there's going to be a big reveal, but keep yeah. looking. Okay. Oh, I thank you so much. You are so welcome. Okay, I'm going to go directly to the next caller who is 270270. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, Joy from Kentucky. Hey, Joy. It's been a minute. How are you? <laughs> I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Thank you. I'm doing excellent. So, Joy, how can I help you today? I got invited to a girls' night out this weekend that I ended up at a block party, and I'm excited about it because I haven't been anywhere in a long time. Mm -hmm. But I'm anxious because I could run into people that don't care for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wondering how you see that going. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's this song, um, and it has words in it that I can't say on my TV shows. So it's, I don't give a bump if you don't give a bump, and I don't give a bump if you don't give a bump, and I don't give a bump. <laughs> so, and we all can replace that word with the word that belongs in the song. So, you know, I have this amazing ability to love those who love me and to really love those who have hate in their heart. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. If someone is who they are or they might not love something about you, well, you just smile as you walk on by. <laughs> you just smile as you walk right on by. Um, and just keep on going. There's going to be enough people there that you won't need to... You know what? I'm hearing actually vibrate so high, they don't see you. Like, get on that level of such joy and happiness. And this, ha I'm going to use an analogy for you. And this is so, so true. So, 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 so true. Um, when we're on a circuit, certain frequency, whether it be anger or fear or depression, we're going to, we're going to connect and see the people who are on that frequency. But when we raise our frequency to that frequency of happiness and joy and just being there, right? Um, we see those and we connect with those people. But the, the beautiful thing is that we don't connect or see the people that are not 
on that frequency. Somehow they stay in their little clicks and we're over in our little clicks, right? Right. So stay on that, stay on that high frequency, stay in that place of joy and joy. <laughs> stay in that place of happiness and just go and show up and I don't give about this. You don't give about and we don't give up at all. And I'm not even singing the words right, but go like you own it. That's all I can say is go like you own it. Okay. Okay. Definitely. And I think the group of girls that I'm going with are going to be a lot of fun. So that should be good. Oh, they will. And you know what? It's not, you know what, as long as you're with people and you can even branch out and talk to people. And again, if you stay on that frequency, they, you know, um, don't worry if, if you, pro they may, you could be maybe right next to them and they won't even see you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. You have fun at that party and have an amazing week.